Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with the LA Conservancy. Today's book is titled The Shape of the World, A Portrait of Frank Lloyd Wright, written by Kale Going and illustrated by Lauren Stringer. Who was Frank Lloyd Wright? What did he do? And why are we reading about him today? Let's take a closer look at the cover to see if we can find any clues that can help us understand who he was and what he did. What do you notice on the cover? What is Frank Lloyd Wright holding? What kind of shapes is he surrounded by? And why is there a tree in this corner? Hmm. Frank Lloyd Wright was an architect. An architect is a type of person who designs or draws buildings and plans how people will use them. Frank Lloyd Wright designed buildings and houses that can be found all over the United States. His beautiful designs included shapes and different types of materials. Let's learn about how he got started and what inspired his beautiful and unique designs. One night, a mama rocked a baby in an old wooden chair. Someday, she whispered, you will build beautiful buildings. The baby smiled and cooed. He did not know about beautiful buildings. He hadn't seen soaring skyscrapers or elegant museums, but someday he would learn. When the baby grew into a boy, his mother gave him gifts, cubes, spheres, cones, pyramids, cylinders. The boy loved the smooth shapes. They felt soft against his fingers and heavy in his palm. Let's take a closer look at the shapes on this page. Cubes, spheres, pyramids, cylinders, cones. It was fun to build them up and knock them down. He loved to stack them this way and that, that way and this. They could grow tall or wide, flat or round. Aha! The boy had learned a secret. Every shape was many shapes. What does that mean that every shape was many shapes? Let's look closer at the shapes on this page to understand what that means. Which shapes do you notice on this page? Do you see this hexagon in the center right here? A hexagon is a six-sided shape. How many shapes are in this hexagon? Six triangles. What other shapes do you notice? How many shapes do you see in this tree? I see triangles, squares, and trapezoids. Think about that next time when you look at a shape. Every shape has many shapes. When he was older, the boy spent each summer on his uncle's farm. He worked hard from sunrise to sunset, but sometimes when no one was looking, the boy marveled at the great big world around him. He saw shapes everywhere he looked. He found an arch in the pathway of a frog, a cone inside the petals of a flower, a triangle in a spider's web, pyramid peaks of anthills, and perfect hexagons in an empty piece of honeycomb. He saw the shiny sphere of the sun and the glowing circle moon. Have you noticed any of those shapes in nature? When you go outside next time, see how many shapes you can find. Sometimes the boy hid in the tall grass watching the weeds bend and sway, studying the shape of a bird's flight. He asked himself many questions. Did the sky have a shape? How many shapes were hidden in a tree? Hmm, those are interesting questions. Does the sky have a shape? How many shapes can you find in a tree? Think about that next time you go outside. Raindrops made changing shapes, clear and cold. Lightning made jagged shapes, sharp and burnt. The river made smooth shapes, long and curved. The boy loved the shape of the world. He wanted to build buildings as amazing as the world around him. When the boy grew into a man, he became an architect. And remember, we talked about that earlier, that an architect is a person who designs or draws buildings and plans how people will use them. 
He worked hard from sunrise to sunset, but he never forgot the smooth weight of the blocks his mother had given him when he was a boy. He remembered the hills and prairies surrounding his family's farm. When other architects chose walls, he chose windows. Look at all these beautiful windows that Frank Lloyd Wright designed. These are called art glass windows, and we'll talk a little bit more about these at the end of our story. Do you see one that you like? When others set their buildings apart, his were one with the world around them. Look at this building on this page. Do you see it? It's blending in with the nature that it's surrounded by. He built a house like a honeycomb, a museum like a shell, and towers as tall and thick as trees. People from far and wide came to see his work. When they looked at his buildings, they imagined the rolling landscape of hills and felt the wide expanse of sky surround them. Like the boy, they too learned to love the shape of the world. One night, when the architect was an old man, he rocked back and forth in his mother's wooden chair. Her promise had come true. When he was a baby, he had not known about beautiful buildings. He hadn't seen soaring skyscrapers or elegant museums, but he had learned. Some day had come and gone. And he had changed the shape of the world. What inspired Frank Lloyd Wright to change the shape of the world? He was inspired by all the beautiful shapes that he found in the nature he was surrounded by. He created beautiful designs and buildings that are enjoyed by many people today. In fact, some of his buildings are recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. A UNESCO World Heritage Site is a site that is important to history, and it is protected from being torn down. One of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites that was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright is in the city of Los Angeles. It's called the Hollyhock House. Let's take a look at a photo of the Hollyhock House. Isn't it pretty cool? If you'd like to learn more about the buildings and houses designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, or if you'd like to take a virtual tour of those places, click the link in our bio. For today's craft, we're going to be using our imagination to create our own art glass window like the ones Frank Lloyd Wright designed. I'd like to show you two examples of art glass windows that are found in houses that he designed in the city of Los Angeles. The first one is from the Ennis house. What shapes do you notice in this art glass window? Let's compare it to the art glass window found at the Hollyhock house. How is this one different? Think about which shapes you're going to include in your art glass window. For today's craft, you'll need the following supplies. One sheet of paper, one black marker, and crayons or colored pencils. In step one, you'll fold a sheet of paper in half lengthwise. In step two, you're going to decorate it with the shapes that you'd like to decorate it with. For this step, what's really important is that you have the folded edge to your right facing you and the open edge to your left. And you'll decorate that side. In step three, you're going to flip it. So now the folded edge will be on your on your left side and the open edge will be on your right side. And instead of redrawing those shapes, you can trace the shapes that are peeking through from the other side. Once you have both sides decorated, you can color it. After you color your art class window, stick it in your window so that other friends can enjoy it and learn about Frank Lloyd Wright. Thank you for joining me today and learning about Frank Lloyd Wright and understanding how he was inspired by the shapes of the world. I look forward to seeing you next time on Storytime with the LA Conservatory.